Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Real Madrid preview. This is the preview to Valencia versus Real Madrid in La Liga. Some would say there's nothing to play for, um, but they're wrong. There's two second place. Of course, we want to get the second place. Um, maybe play for Pride. And that's about it, really. The season hasn't gone the way we wanted it to go. And now we just have to focus on the upcoming summer window where undoubtedly, is there even a word? But no doubt there will be signings made. Even if it's just someone like Jude Bellingham or a striker or a right back, if we do go for those positions, I hope there's at least something other than another midfielder to add into the squad because we've got like 8 midfielders we're going to build an 11 man team of midfielders at this point so please just sign some players that aren't midfielders but um, back to the point you know that really that isn't much to play for yes like I said second place but you don't have anything to win. So that's a couple of La Liga games. We've got Valencia in there. I think we've got Sevilla. I think we've got Bilbao. I'm missing one or two, I think. Um, I don't even know what match day this is. But, you know, you got a couple of games in there that um, will be a bit tough. And I think Valencia away, I believe, um, is going to be a tough game, right? against a team like Valencia, you know, I think they are only a couple of points off the safety. Um, are they not like 18th, actually? So, Valencia might get relegated. Even if they stay up, they would just about stay up. So, it's going to be a tough game against a team that are playing for not going down, basically. So, it's going to be a tough game. Um... And we can't just go, you know what, let's just put 11 young players on the pitch and get trashed like 6 nil because after all, even though there's realistically nothing to play for, which in this circumstances is a bad thing, you still can't go out there and show that you can't be bothered. You have to give your all, even at this point. So what would the team I'll go with? Courtois, I think, will play. Look, there could be an argument made for Lunin. Will he get a chance? Apparently, there were reports that Lunin will leave and he wants to leave in the summer. So, what happens as the backup goalie situation? Um, but I will play Courtois. My back four, Mandy is back. Might as well chuck him in. Rudiger, I don't understand why. Again, I said this in a review of Manchester City. We're not going to talk about that at all. But I don't understand why he didn't play against Man City, in all honesty. Um, I've Nacho, personally, Alaba is still coming back. Um, and Militao was poor against City. So I'll give Nacho a game. And then right back, Lucas Vasquez. Carvajal will play against City. Um, so I'll play Lucas Vasquez, really. So that is the back four. Um, moving into the midfield. There were, not reports, but there was this predicted 11. And it was Ceballos, Tremeni and Valverde. And there was another one. There was Ceballos, Camavinga, Valverde. Personally, give me neither. Valverde, let's take him out. And let's play Camavinga and Tremeni together. We haven't seen them play together in a midfield match. So let's just let them play together as a duo. With Ceballos next to them. It's not that attacking on midfield. In fact, it's, it's quite a defensive midfield trio, isn't it? Um, but Kamavinga likes roaming forward so he can take the ball and roam forward um, and get the creative spaces for the likes of Vinny Jr. and Benzema. And Tremeni to sit back, the number six. And Sabajos so will do a bit of both the defensive and offensive work. That is a well mid well balanced midfield. Cruz and Modric, not going to play. You're not going to play Modric after the injury. Cruz, 
he's not definitely not gonna play. You could, like I said, make an argument for Valverde, but I would rest him as well. So this is my midfield trio, and then for the front three, Vinny Junior and Benzema for me plays, and Marco Asensio for me plays. Last time out against Atafe, he scored the only goal to get the three points. So I'll play him again. An argument to be made for Rodrigo potentially, um, but I'll play Asensio. Cause why not? So that is my eleven. Let's move on to my prediction. I'm gonna go with a uh, Valencia one, Real Madrid two. Simple as it is, I think Valencia will scrape a goal, but I think Real Madrid will prove that they're better. Then Valencia and will score two to win the game. So yeah, I mean you got Valencia away here, and then you got Rival Lecano at home, Sevilla away, and Atletico Bilbao at home to wrap up the season. Four games to go. Match sure thirty four. This is um, realistically you want to be looking at twelve from twelve. Just win all the games and get it over with. But knowing Real Madrid, there will be slip-ups um, somewhere. Now, let's firstly have a look at... Um, this is a predicted lineup. I mean, we could have a look at the predicted Real Madrid lineup, can't we? I mean, yeah, Valverde's in there, Militao, Asensio. So, realistically, that's about it. But, um, I want to have a look at Valencia's results in the last couple of games how have they played they won away at Celta Vigo 2-1 they drew Villarreal that's a good result for them um, but you know going back to April a loss against Cadiz um, a loss against Almeria a loss against Sevilla um, so they are a vulnerable team they can be get at so if you're Real Madrid, you look at that game going three points. Just go to the Mestalla, which isn't easy, but against a team that are probably going to get relegated and get the three points. Um, Rayo, look, you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, we lost three two to them, so that could be interesting. Um, Sevilla again could be an interesting game away as well, and then Bilbao. Hopefully, this is the game um, on the fifth of June. To wrap the season up and finish strong, and they got pre preseason man. I mean, this is where things will get interesting, for sure. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, but let me know what are your thoughts and predictions down below. Um, recent videos have been doing pretty well actually. Um, so thank you guys for watching um but i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video hit the like button as did subscribe to the channel on already and i'll see you guys in the next one peace